Oh, glory. Praise God. Clement of Summons is here. <laughs> Live, power, and color. Mm. How are you doing today? Mm. Welcome to Clement of Summons Live. Last Sunday of the year 2015. Praise God. What a blessing of God. Hallelujah. Amen. We've come into 2015 beautifully and blessedly, gloriously and powerfully. Amen. And now we are at the last Sunday of 2015. 15. Mm -hmm. What a glory and what a blessing. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Amen. Wherever you're watching us, all, God bless you for joining us all over the world, from India, from you know, Australia, from the United Kingdom here, from the United States over there, across the pond, as I say. Praise God. Hallelujah. Welcome. Praise God. This wonderful, beautiful broadcast. We are Clement Us Home Ministries and we teach the world to know who they are in God and who God is in them. Without religion. We, we don't teach or preach religion because religion is a problem, you can tell, you just look, at, look, look all over the world. But we preach life, mm. praise God, yeah. Yeah. living life in full enthusiasm, praise yeah. God, hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you for joining us, one hour later than usual, praise God, 11.45, God bless you, thank you very much. From next Sunday, comes back to 10.45 a.m. as normal, praise God, God bless you, amen, amen. hallelujah. It was Christmas, praise God, amen, last Friday, two days ago, praise God, people last were open gifts, open presents, around the Christmas tree, watching the movie, eating turkey, praise God, amen. you can tell I'm a bit heavier, <laughs> glory to God, I'll put a bit away, amen, God, people, <laughs> glory to God, hallelujah, praise God, amen, but yeah, we've eaten a lot, praise God, hallelujah, we've celebrated Jesus, celebrated family, celebrated with gifts, with family, and all the extended family members as well, what a blessing it is, isn't it, mm. hallelujah. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it real? Isn't it interesting to know that Christmas is the only uh, celebration, praise God, is the only uh, holiday all over the world mm -hmm. that whether you're a Tom Tick or you're a Harry, whether you're a Mary, a Jane, or a Lou, <laughs> whether you're tall, short, black, white, praise God, whatever religion you come from, everybody seems to celebrate it. Mm -hmm. Christmas is the only time everybody celebrates. Mm -hmm. That tells the power. Yeah. Hallelujah. I'm getting excited here. That is the power of God. Mm. How he has given us life. Mm. That life to live and to live more abundantly. Mm. Amen. Yeah. Not with religion. Mm. Not with Christian religion as it is today. Not with any other religion as it is today. Mm. But life. Mm. Life. Living life is about living life mm. in full enthusiasm. Mm. Praise God. Amen. What a blessing of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. Praise God. Hallelujah. If you have your Bibles, or get your Bibles. If you don't have your Bibles, it's fine. <laughs> That's fine. You can write down the scriptures down. It'll be a blessing to you. Today we're going to be looking at different parts of scripture. A powerful part of scripture. Amen. Amen. This is the last day of the year. And we're going to be stepping into the new year, praise God, mm. in four days' time. Praise God. Mm. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to be stepping into the new year in just four days' time. Praise God. Hallelujah. Five sleeps to 2016. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. Praise God. But when you, you look at people all over the world, different people, people seem to, <coughs> yeah, there are problems. Yeah, there are situations. That, there are difficulties. There are Problem and situations in life, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are difficulties in life. It's dead. Nobody would die. Okay, you can't deny it. It's there. Praise God. Why? Because you can see people go through the difficult situations. But the BMW, the car that has a fault on the road, doesn't disqualify all cars, does it? Yeah, you're right, though. It doesn't. Mm -hmm. If one car has a fault, that doesn't mean the whole line of BMW has a fault. So in other words, it's specific to that car. So something has to be done to that car. That car needs to be repaired. Mm. Yes. Amen. Amen. Everybody seems to have an ideology that life is about struggle and fighting. Because they turn back and look back. They turn by the clock and look back. And they see down the line, Months ago, weeks ago, months ago, they've battled with diseases and, and sickness and, and evil. They've battled with struggles and temptations and difficulties. They've battled. They've struggled. They've been out of job. No money. The, the, the thieves have stolen their property. They're from Africa. <laughs> Whatever they've got. Someone has been killed. Things have happened. Bad things have happened. Yes. 
Because they look down and see those things and then they qualify life as being difficult, as being bad. Take this into the new year 2016. Tell my message this morning from Kim Shumi's life. Praise God. Life is a victory. Amen. Not a fight. Mm. I said again. Tell your message. Life is a victory, not a fight. Amen. There's too much fighting in life. There's too much struggling. There's too much disease and sickness and hunger. There's too much of this is going on all over the world. God never gave a life. For you to be hungry. Mm -hmm. God never gave you a hungry life, did he? No. How can God... Look at... Was, we're looking at our kids. GILC opened the Christmas prison under the Christmas tree. I was looking at myself opening my beautiful gift. My, you know, I was opening open a big teddy bear. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Amen. What's, what's the name of a teddy bear again? Huggles. Huggles. <laughs> Huggles is in town. Mm -hmm. She was opening her teddy bear. She was opening his Nike. Praise God. And his copper. His red. His blazing red. Ferrari red copper. His high top shoe, glory, and his Adidas perfume, glory like God. He was opening his gift. Even I was opening my, my gift, my, 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 my perfume. And then I looked and said, wow. Look at the joy in our heart, the parents' heart, when we see the joy in our, in our children being excited, open gifts. Mm. It's our honor, it's our glory to see our children get excited, opening the gifts, and they're happy and they're joyful with their gifts. It's God's glory and God's honor when he sees you excited. Amen. So God will not give you sickness. No. God will not allow you to go through difficulties. No. God will not give you a life of difficulty. No. Because he enjoys it when you're happy. He enjoys when you open the gifts of life and, and enjoy. Open the gifts of blessing and health and enjoy. Open the gifts of financial prosperity. He enjoys it. Amen. Because he's a father. Just like as you watching me today. If you have children, which I know you do. <laughs> Praise God. You are happy when your children open the gifts. Praise God. You didn't go and give them, praise God, a broken, you, uh, uh, give them, you buy a night trainer and then you remove one lace and leave only one lace. You didn't do that. You didn't go take the trainer and say, come on, cost, cost one. Let me teach him that it doesn't have to be perfect. No, you wanted the trainer to be perfect. You wanted it to be clean. You wanted it to be nice, new. So God wants you to enjoy life. Hallelujah. Amen. I hope you're getting this. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So life is a victory, not a fight. Amen. Let's open our Bibles. Praise God. The first scripture. Praise God. We're going old. <laughs> Amen. Deuteronomy. Say, what's that? It's in the Bible. <laughs> Deuteronomy chapter 20, verse 4. Deut. I call it Deut. Praise God. Deuteronomy Amen. chapter 20, verse 4. Deuteronomy 20, verse 4. Just write, write it down. If you don't have the Bible, that's fine. Go write it down. And go back in this, you know, praise God. Read it, read on it. It's blessing. Please take the word of God contained in the Bible and live your life. Don't allow religious people, whether they're Christians or non-Christians, or whatever religion they become uh, they belong to, to, to persuade you or to or to make you live a certain way with of do's and life is not a life, it's, it's not a bottle of do's and don'ts. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. It is you knowing. Praise God, the right thing in the word of God, knowing the right thing about life, why it's right. And then you enjoy it because it's beneficial to you. Mm -hmm. As Psalms 103 says, the benefits of salvation. That was the benefits of knowing God. Mm -hmm. Now, let's look at this scripture here. Come to so much life. You're welcome. God bless you. Thanks for joining. Thanks for watching. On Facebook, on Twitter, praise God, on Google Plus, and YouTube. Mm -hmm. Now, Deuteronomy chapter 20, verse 4. Let me read here. It says here, For the Lord your God... Is the one, amen, amen, who goes with you to do what to fight for you against who your enemies to give you what? Victory. So, God does not give you a fight mm. in Deuteronomy, the old covenant. God has already laid aside the Lamb of God, Jesus, who would be born on a significant day called Christmas Day. Three, two days ago, we had Christmas. Praise God. I'm going to talk about it a little bit later. Praise God. He has, he has already proclaimed or predestined. Praise God. Remember, mm -hmm. you destined your life, but God predestines. That's not teaching. You know, people think of God destined. God doesn't destine your life. Mm. God does not destine your life. Anyway, 
you destined your life. God predestines. So God has already predestined. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Just said I could call angels right now to scatter everybody. And that would change what God has said that just would die for everybody. Mm. You're right. So you destined your life. Jesus destined his life. God predestined. That's what the Bible says. God predestined the Lamb of God in Ephesians to be our sacrifice. Mm. He was born on Christmas Day. So on Easter, he will die. 33 and a half years later. Praise God. What a blessing. Mm. So he came, praise God, to do something so that he can give us something. Mm. So what did he come to do? He kept the fight so that he can give us victory. So we no longer have to fight. We have to just... Get the victory. The Bible says, this is the victory that overcomes the world. He didn't say this is the fight. Mm. <laughs> because you fight to overcome. Mm. That's, that's, that's a natural world way, isn't it? Mm. To overcome something, you have to fight. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you have to fight. That's a world way. Mm. But he didn't say no. He says, this is a victory that overcomes the world. Even our faith, not our fight. Mm. God has given you victory. Amen. 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 So the Bible says here in Deuteronomy chapter 20 verse 4, it says here about David going to war, uh, um, Job Israel going to war, so David, Job Israel going to war, David hasn't been born yet, <laughs> for the Lord your God in verse 4 is the one who goes, not you. The Lord your God is the one who goes, not you. He says the Lord your God who goes to fight for you against your enemies to give you victory. But we know now that this was Deuteronomy. So it was a prophecy. It was a word that God has given to these people that will be fulfilled. And that has been fulfilled because Jesus was born on Christmas Day and he died on Easter. So he fought and he has now given us a victory because he went on the cross of Calvary over 2,000 years ago, shed his blood, died for you and I so that we can have the opportunity and the blessing (laughs) <laughs> to receive health, to receive joy, Amen. to receive power, Amen. to receive blessing, Amen. to live a life of victory. Yes, difficulties are there. If you take it, it will be yours. If you live it, it will be yours. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. It's called how? It's called wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. So, yes, He has given us. That's victory. So life is a victory, not a fight. Hallelujah. Mm. Let's look at John, First John. Let's go back to the new. First John 5, 4. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. It says here in 1 John chapter 5, verse 4. If you, you can turn to it if you want to turn to it, but if you don't have to, you don't have to, just write it down. For everyone who has been born of God overcomes the world. That's what the Bible says. Mm. Everyone. Mm. So then why are some people not living like that? Everyone who is born of God overcomes. Amen. So no matter what difficulties, no matter what situation mm. you may be going through, mm. God has already given you that victory to overcome. Mm. Amen. It says, for everyone who has been born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world. Our faith. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. Not religion. Amen. Amen. Not what other people have gone through. It's sad that many people measure their lives by the experiences of others. Now that's dumb. How can you qualify? How can you package your life based on the experience of others? Are you that what less? Wow. Don't even dare. Don't, don't even try. Not because that's Christian about that, or that religious person about that, or he says he believes in God, and then look at what he's going through, that he means that God's word is not real, or there's no God. No, that's wrong. The problem is not God. Mm. Yeah. For everyone who has been born of God, mm. it is everyone, or some people who will be born of God, mm. or some people who, no. For everyone who has been, everyone, hallelujah, everyone, and that includes you today. Mm. And that includes you today. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's look at the next scripture. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 57. Mm. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Mm. First Corinthians 15, verse 57. Hallelujah. That's in the old covenant. First Corinthians 15, 57. Now. Praise God. You're welcome again. This comes from his life. God bless you. Thanks for joining. Thanks for watching. Yeah. First Corinthians 15 verse 7. Mm. But thanks be to God. Mm. Who gives us what? 
victory. Mm. We say, thanks be to God who gives us the victory mm-hmm. through our Lord Jesus Christ. Christ was born on Christmas Day. We celebrate mm. Christmas two, three days ago. Praise, praise God, two days ago. Christ was born on Christmas Day. Mm. Amen. Amen. For a certainty. Mm. A certainty of victory. Mm. Because God said that Jesus, there will be a lamp that will come to take away the sins of the world. Mm. So if that has happened, Christ has been born, then it means that he has definitely taken away the sins of the world. So it's a certainty, so it's not a maybe. Mm. So that has happened. Mm. That's what we celebrate. We celebrate Christmas every year. Mm. Just to remember that beautiful blessing. And to understand that the reason we have Christmas is because there will be an Easter. A lovely, beautiful celebration of Easter. Mm. Amen. We're Amen. celebrating the life of Jesus. We're celebrating our life. Because Easter, Christ died mm. on Good Friday. Hallelujah. Amen. But he rose again. Mm. So remember this. Easter is not about death. Good Friday is. Think about it for one second. You know, when we say Easter, it may be everyone thinks about oh, death. Christ was crucified, he was dead. Yes, he did. But he was crucified on Good Friday. Mm. We celebrate Easter. Easter is the resurrection. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. So Easter is not a solemn thing. Easter is a joy. Amen. Easter is a celebration. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Mm. But subconsciously, we have the thing about Easter. You know, oh yeah, you know, Easter is about death. You know, it's a... no. Hallelujah. Mm. We have to live our life. Knowing mm. that we have been bought into celebration. Amen. We have been given victory into celebration. Amen. So we are living a life of victory. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So we thank God for the beauty of Christmas and the blessing of Easter. So again, First Corinthians 15 verse 57. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory. He said, God's talking about victory in Deuteronomy 20, verse 4. He talked about victory in 1 John 5, 4. He talked about victory in 1 Corinthians 15, 57. And now in 2 Samuel, mm. chapter 8, let's look at verse 6 and 14. 2 Samuel, chapter 8, praise God, sweat a lot. 2 Samuel, chapter 8, verse 6 and 14. 2 Samuel 8, 6 and 14. Let's look at verse 6. 2 Samuel. And with that, it says here, I read, 2 Samuel, chapter 8, verse 6 and 14. Then, then David put garrisons in Aram of Damascus, and the Syrians became servants to David, and brought what? Tribute. And this is history, what happened? And the Bible says here, and the Lord gave victory <laughs> to David wherever he went. Wherever you go, this year coming 2016, mm. God has given you a victory. Amen. Wherever you go at your job, at work, praise God with your friends, your family, God has given you what? Victory. victory. Amen. Because the Bible says here, God gave David victory. In verse 14, when you read it, God gave David victory. Amen. God has given you victory, praise mm. God, because of Jesus. Mm. Jesus has died. He was born on Christmas Day. He died for our sins on Easter, praise God. He resurrected from the dead. Oh, well, good Friday. Resurrected from the dead on Easter, praise God, for our victory. Mm. So that has happened so therefore we have the victory mm. even if you look back and look at people's life it doesn't look as if they have victory in their life victory in their health victory in their job mm. god says i have given you victory Amen. so we now have the responsibility to take that victory in, mm. at work we have the responsibility to take that victory in school mm. we have the responsibility not god to take our victory in our family life we have the responsibility not god to take our victory in our health mm. we have the responsibility not god to take our victory in our well Amen. It says in 2 Samuel 8, 6 and 14. Amen. It says in the last part, And the Lord gave victory to David. Mm. David did stuff here. Mm. Praise God. Hallelujah. Mm. The Bible says here, Then David put garrisons. Praise God. Amen. Mm. So that means then, the victory, the manifestation of a victory mm. is dependent upon us. Mm. God has already given it to us, mm. but the manifestation depends on us. Mm. We have to believe for it. Mm. Praise God. Act like we believe it, Amen. and then we will. Amen. Oh, God. See that victory. Mm. Life is a victory. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Mm. Amen. Amen. 